Okay, the sun is down. It's been a very long day. I have six days to get the arcade, the new location here completely and totally done and ready for a private party in six days. And I figured uh, before we go ball to the wall and get everything moved in, let me show you exactly where we're at right now compared to where we were in the last walkthrough video. So it's nighttime. We don't have the the sign on it's not it's not powered up yet but we got speakers out here for the patio area and things like that so there's not much to see out here until daylight so we'll go in here uh i've been working feverishly all day and i'm pretty beat but i gotta get this done for you guys so uh okay all of this junk here is all a kitchen stuff that needs to go here in the kitchen we have the all of the audio video portion complete this is our audio video tower here with uh, our iPad that we can use to control our, all of our lights, our audio, the screens, the TVs, all the ambiance, everything is controlled through the iPad. We can turn the, all the games on and off with the iPad once we get all those in here. So this is all done, all audio video is complete. Uh, these are components and pieces and parts here for the kitchen, which will go into there in a minute. And all this stuff is all stuff for that too. Uh, but let's go over here to the bar area. So uh, all of the TVs here are all on this loop TV with our logo just for now to get them all tested. And then once everything is up and running, we'll have, you know, different channels and different media and different things on these TVs for the bar area. But um, we got a lot of our bar stuff in. We got coolers and, and deep sinks and the soda guns. There's one here and then on the other side over here is another one. Uh, more deep sinks here, uh, the prep area for the serving, another deep sink here with another soda gun right there, uh, and then we have uh, ledges here, if you will, for lack of a better term, for all of the alcohol bottles and things, and over here is much of the same thing as this, however, we're going to have a Donkey Kong kind of mural thing going on. Uh, we're going to have Pauline up there and Donkey Kong right there, we're going to have the girders on the faces of these of these uh, shelves and you know they're going to progress up and then and then progress up and we're going to have jump man down here going up in the barrels and things so this will be like a, a type of display here for donkey kong which should look pretty neat uh, but that's about wraps it up here for the update on the bar everything here is uh progressing nicely a very nice bar top and then we're going to have uh, LED lighting underneath here that shines down onto your feet when you're sitting around the bar. All around here is going to be LED lighting that shines down. And we got our window done for the, if you're outside on the patio area and you want to order a drink, you can actually just slide the window open and order a drink through the window without having to come back into the main establishment here. Uh, commercial freezer, more stuff for the kitchen and things like that. That's what all this stuff here is moved in over this way. bar cups and drinks and glasses uh, the kitchen here we got the soda syrup thing set up and all of the uh, plumbing for that everything's been shellacked and lacquered per code because when you're preparing food everything has to be uh, you know clear coated and I mean even the wood and everything like that so the walls are complete we got the walls done uh, the washing your hands basin and the deep sink for cleaning things like you know what's your uh, food prep stuff everything in here is complete rear wall is shellacked and everything like that we got the pizza oven over there well the proofer anyway uh, so this is the prep table prep station so a lot of stuff left to do in the next six days when it comes to things like that uh, let me show you the bathrooms are complete it took nine weeks for us to get these partitions. Don't know why it took so long, but that's really what the holdup was for us to get our certificate of occupancy, but that's been accomplished. So all of this is now done. Countertop, nice mirrors, uh, partitions, a couple of urinals and a toilet and all that jazz. We all know what a bathroom looks like, but the bathroom is done. Uh, that's the men's bathroom. Of course, women is, you know, much of the same, just uh, no urinals. There you go, so bathrooms are complete and party rooms let's go down here i got three minutes left on my battery gonna try and make this uh this is the main entrance to party room bravo but as you see we've got a, <laughs> a bunch of stuff in the way so we're gonna close that door we're gonna go through where there's a garage door here that would normally be down during the party but we'll come in here and this is party room b 
And as you can see, lots of chairs and tables and stuff and just being used as a storage room right now. These are the TVs that are gonna be going above the pinball machines. Uh, and these are outdoor uh, folding chairs for our patio area. And this is the garage door that separates the two party rooms. And as you can see, we've got this uh, Pac-Man motif thing here with our logo. This can open up and open up the uh, entry here to have both party rooms as one big party room if you want. Or of course being down to separate the two party rooms. Uh, over here is the party room A, which as you can see, you've got the same graphic on this side and lots of open space. We installed these tables on, there's, I think I glossed over the one in the other room. We've got these tables here with these custom chairs we designed and, and uh, put this here so you can put your gifts and, and food and whatever else you bring in on the table. And uh, you know, there'll be other uh, tables in here to put more of these chairs around to sit and things like that. But, TV on the wall in both of them so you can plug in a USB to have, you know, uh, family photos or uh, whatever videos you want to play for your corporate events or something like that. So we've got a TV on each wall in each room. And of course, again, you just lift that up if you want to open this up to have both party rooms as one big party room. Uh, this is our separation uh, wall here, about four feet high for the arcade versus this little pathway here. And I got my Mortal Kombat Wall of Fame installed. Uh, all of the autographs and signatures I've been able to acquire over the last, uh, I don't know, 12 years almost, I think, since the first Shang Tsung fight night. I could be wrong, but I recently just got these at the Midwest Gaming Classic from Carlos and Daniel and Rich. So the Mortal Kombat Wall of Fame is on and uh, on the wall here and ready to go between the two party rooms. Uh, I got one minute left before the battery dies. I'm going to see if I can make it might not, but anyway, so all the TVs up there above the bar, we got the three TVs here. So this is, this will all be seating for the kitchen. Like when you, uh, you know, food and drink and stuff, you want to sit down and have some quiet time. This is all going to be seating here for that bar and food area. Uh, the Mario Karts are right here. The main entrance is right there. There's going to be a Golden T2001. We bought a GT2001 that's going to go right here. This will be the main entrance to the arcade with a podium and somebody there taking money for entrance to the arcade. This will all be the arcade area here. And over here is going to be the pinball row. We have enough, once with starting right here and going this way, all the way to the wall, we have room for 23 pinball machines. And that's what we're gonna throw in here. You can see right now, there's those three and they're lined up right along the edge of that uh, stanchion there. And there's gonna be arcade machines backed up right against them. And they're gonna go all the way to the wall. So tw uh, 23 are, uh, pinball machines that you'll be able to look at and see through outside the window at night with the TVs above and the camera shining down like we have right now at the current location. Uh, that should be pretty neat. So, yeah, I mean, there's TVs in here, and of course, again, these will all be on different channels and things, or different media. It's not all gonna be this Loop TV. You have, we'll have the chive and, and uh, you know, sports stuff going on and things like that, but I went ahead and brought the Tattoo Assassins in here, so that's done. Uh, WrestleMania's in here. Uh, all that stuff, all the other games are gonna be moved here in uh, two days. We got the uh, Nintendo Red Tent and a Ms. Pac-Man cocktail machine. These are just thrown in here haphazardly because these were in the garage and I put, threw them in the truck and went ahead and brought them up here before the giant move of the other ones. So, battery's about to die, it's flashing. That's about it. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see how the final product turns out once everything is done and in. Sometime, hopefully this, this time next week, I'll do another walkthrough when this is completed before anybody else is able to come in. You guys will have full, uh, I should say first access to how this turned out before anybody else gets to see it here in person. So thanks, stay tuned and we'll see you then. I should ask, or ask, I should add that a worker accidentally hit that window from the outside and broke the pane of glass from the outside. So that has to get replaced, but that'll get done. So anyway, I think I forgot to mention that. Okay. Stay tuned.